Hello and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to the vlog. So for those of you who don't already know, I am a registered nurse and I have been a registered nurse for a little over three years now. I have taken care of so, so many patients and one of the most important aspects to caring as a nurse for my patients is valuing their mental health. Mental health is so important and it's something that I highly value, which is why I was so excited to partner today with my sponsor for this video, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an online platform that helps connect you with a therapist. This makes therapy more accessible and affordable to everyone. If you've ever considered therapy, this is a great way to explore that option. I'm going to put the link in the description box with my special code that can save you 10% off your first month with a licensed professional. I'm also going to put it up here. The website is betterhelp.com dash Rachel Santana. I would love if you would use it for yourself, if you are in need, or if you would like to share this with somebody else that you know would appreciate it. I cannot stress enough that mental health is the most important thing. If your mind is right, your body's right, you feel right, and you're just right. And on that note, welcome back to the vlog. Let's get started. Okay, so we are in the car now. We're on our way to Publix. My man and I. Say hi. Hi. You look so handsome today. Thank you. You're welcome. What about me? Good. Thank you. <laughs> fun because usually I go by myself and do all these things and then I also went to Walgreens and I picked up some photos we want to do like a little pic pretty picture wall in our apartment so I got some pictures yay they're from like our proposal and I had an idea to like get them all printed out and then put them on our wall or my wall isn't completed it's supposed to be nine frames and there's only six because three of them just fell one day <laughs> I don't even know how how did they fall they just like one day they just plopped Put them up. The command strips like failed me one day and they just all fell. But usually like command strips never fail me, so. I have a little date night tonight. We're gonna make this lasagna recipe that I saw on TikTok because I see all the recipes on TikTok. That's like all we make. What are we doing? Are you gonna get gas? I'll get you flowers. Oh, we're, right, I forgot. So we're also gonna stop and get some flowers. So we're gonna get some flowers and then we're gonna go to Publix. And this is the place that I go to in Midtown. You have all the flowers there and you pick them out and they kind of like build the bouquet for you. Here you can see the girl was so nice. She was helping me because I didn't know what to choose. I was like asking her for advice. So she told me to get like seven of those and they get some roses and they get some extra greenery. And she helped me kind of like build my little bouquet based on all the flowers that were there and what I told her that I wanted, like I wanted white and green. So those are the flowers that I ended up choosing. And then she's just going and building the bouquet for me, making it all pretty. And then you just kind of like walk around and wait until they're done. It takes about like five minutes or so. And that's what it looks like. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Do you want normal pictures? No. Okay, let's go. It's really hot. I'm sweating my ass off. <laughs> and this is the groceries that we got. So I just got like some eggs, some bread, some Premier Protein. I don't even know they made this, so we're trying it for the first time. I'll let you know if it's good. And then we got some other stuff. We're going to make some like little lasagna tonight. And yeah, we just got little restocks. The second we got home, we kind of just started cooking already. So I'm going to put the recipe in the description box. I'm just chopping up the parsley that I'm going to use to put in the ricotta mixture. The whole thing. Oh yeah, yummy, yummy, yummy. Fresh parsley in that beef. This is two cups. This is a lot of cheese in this thing. This is going to be the filling. Three cups of mozzarella. So one tablespoon of this. Babe, can you bring me this one? Pepper, please? Almost forgot the egg. Perfect. So this is gonna be the filling. This is what the filling looks like. Now we're gonna get our little cheese roll-ups ready. Okay, so this is the setup. I have all my little lasagnas here, my little lasagna sheets. And then I have some meat sauce, and then I have the ricotta. I'm gonna put a little bit of tomato sauce here at the base, and then you'll see how I make my little roll-ups. Super easy. I'm putting a little non-stick spray cheese, like avocado oil. And then I have my little carbone sauce. I'm gonna use it as the base. One of these, some of this on it. You sure you don't want to do this part? Awesome. <laughs> it's fun. We're gonna scoop it. This looks so good. The meat sauce made by Austin. Delicious. It actually smells really good. You did a really good job. Yeah, we didn't expect anything else. <laughs> it's perfect. Boom. Fire. It's okay. Now I know it needs to be a little less fat. That looks good. That's Don't tell me that it does not look good. <laughs> Don't even try to be a hater right now. It doesn't have to be perfect. Clearly mine was not perfect. I thought it was pretty good. This one's pretty healthy though. We even drained the meat, so... 
Okay, there's nothing about this that's healthy. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not healthy. How do Ooh, I do this? Just roll it. Like you're rolling. I don't know. Okay, that's perfect. It, it comes out good. Put your masterpiece in there. Once again, the recipe will be in the description. I did not make this recipe. I got it off TikTok from some girl's video. And um, you do the pasta on the bottom, ricotta, and then the meaty sauce. So you put as much as you want, then you just roll it up. This was so easy to do. And it was like kind of fun, like a little fun date night idea. Then we topped it with the leftover meat and then some mozzarella cheese. Maybe the camera should be here, not on my boobs. Thank you. <laughs> 2020 came Presented to the Cabernet. audience. Cabernet. Thank you. You're so tall. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Delicious. Oh my god, it's so good. Let's pour it up. Pour it up, baby. This is the setup. These are beautiful flowers my fiance got for me. A little bit of wine. This is our favorite. Camus is just so good. Got the food here. And we even got the aquapana because we want it to be bougie for our little date night. Let's see how the pasta turned out. Ooh, it looks really good. I think a little, what do you think? Like a little more? Let's see it like five more minutes. Wow, this looks so freaking yummy. Looks like little meaty pizzas. This is what I posted on my Insta story because I forgot to vlog it, but it was really, really good actually. It just didn't look pretty. Yeah, we're working on a little project right now. Here's what we have so far. It looks pretty good. Look at the little frames, they're so pretty. I cannot wait to hang these up. They're so cute. So it's gonna be like a little, really pretty engagement wall right behind us. Look at how cute my little space looks now. Here are my flowers. Here are my orchids. I usually keep them over there in the kitchen, but I decided to keep them here for now just because I like for them to get sun. I take care of them like they're my little children. And then look, my frames. They came out so beautiful. They came out really, really cute. And here are the pictures that I chose. You guys have probably seen them all. They're all on my Instagram. I have to kind of wipe them down, but I'm just so proud. It took us like two hours to do this, by the way. Very, very humbled. It was really hard to get them like perfectly aligned. And if you don't think they're perfectly aligned, then don't say anything because I'm very happy with how they look. Good morning. So I just got back from Pilates. I'm gonna take a shower really quick and then start getting ready because I have to make it to my hair appointment by 10 30 it's 8 a.m right now okay so i am getting ready but i already showered and changed i put on this comfy skims dress let me show you guys very flattering very comfy i just like wearing it because it's super comfortable oh i have like a little pimple here so a little bit of concealer i think sometimes i get allergic to perfumes certain perfumes will give me like a little breakout here or there when i put it yeah i already did a little foundation and i'm gonna do some under eye concealer a little contour a little light beat because i'm gonna get my hair done and i'm gonna be sitting in front of that mirror you know when you wet your hair you sit with the little the little cape and you just like look in the mirror you like never looked uglier I'm like let me just do a little makeup so i can feel good you look good you feel good i ordered more dresses from house of cv i didn't learn my lesson the last time so I got two more. This was so bad. Like genuinely, it fit me so ugly. I'm gonna put a picture of like what the dress is supposed to look like. And then let me show you the dress. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm too small, but imagine my little body was sitting with this. I was trying to be very fashion forward and then it worked out for me. Look at this, look at this hair. What we're gonna do today at the salon is we're gonna get this hair. It needs to be toned also. This hair is gonna go here. <laughs> like basically it's all gonna be this color and it's gonna be a really pretty blonde. She does what she calls baby lights. And they're like very, very, very skinny, skinny highlights. And the last time that she did it was like the first time that she did like a different highlight method for me. And I loved it. Like I love the way that my hair came out. So I'm so excited. And my appointment's at 10.30 in the morning. I still have a lot of time. It's 8.40, maybe I can go to UPS and return that dress. And then I can get some sweet treats. A little Starbies breakfast. I'm taking my laptop to the hair salon with me because that way I can edit this vlog. So if you're watching this, that means that's exactly what I did. I should be done by three. If it takes longer, that sucks for me. So this is my plan. My hair appointment is in Kendall. If I'm gonna drive over there, I might as well visit my parents' house, which is over there. And then the girl who does my spray tan, Anna, talked about her in my last vlog, Luxa Glow. She is right next to my parents' house. So the plan is I'm gonna drive, go to Starbucks, go to UPS, go get my hair done. There, go to my parents' house to wash off my makeup and make sure I have no lotion, no deodorant, nothing on my body. Because when you get a spray tan, you cannot have a drop of anything on your body. Otherwise, it's not gonna adhere. And then go like a little bare naked mole rat to Anna's house to get my spray tan. And then tomorrow, tomorrow we're trying on wedding dresses. 
I'm so excited. Literally getting super pampered and super cute to try on wedding dresses tomorrow because in case you didn't know, I'm engaged. In case you didn't see my last 58 post, I'm engaged. Ask me if I have my venue. No, I do have a date, but I don't have a venue. I'm not gonna share my date because I haven't even sent out my save the dates. So that kind of kills the purpose. But I got offered to go try on wedding dresses at a store. They're super nice. They're gonna close the whole store for me. So I'm bringing my mom, my grandma, my best friend, Gato, my cousin, Jenny, Austin's sister, who's also my friend, Lindsay. Austin's mom is gonna try to stop by, but she does work. So she's gonna see if she can go during her lunch break because it's gonna be during lunch hour. They're gonna close the store for us and have like champagne. It's gonna be super, super nice. So I was like, okay, I don't care if I don't have a venue. Like I'm not passing up on this opportunity. Like I need to go try on dresses. Like that's so fun. When does the pumpkin spice latte come? That's what I need right now. <sighs> it's already August, like be for real. PSL return august 24th bro i want one so bad i'm such a little pumpkin girl yesterday i did like a pumpkin face mask it was actually really good i'm gonna put a picture here of the one that i did it's from peter thomas roth very very good it burned a little bit when i was going on then i washed it off my skin was like glowy beautiful some brush my eyebrows oh this is the lady who does my microblading if you guys want to go to her in miami i'm gonna put her page here and her information her name is mari she is very very good i literally have been microblading my eyebrows since 2017 i do it once a year so i did it the first time in 2017 like i did like the official like the first time then i did a touch up and then ever since then i just go once a year and i touch it up if you haven't noticed i have like no eyebrows you can't tell now because they're filled in but they're filled in with microblading yo i have no eyebrows like <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna try to find a high school picture and show you guys like your girl had no brows your girl had no brows back in the day no brows and no upper lip <laughs> like the two really things that i've done to change my face and they're minimal they're subtle because lip filler does dissolve over time but it's nice when you feel it and it looks plumpy this has lately been my favorite lip combo this benetint with this ysl over i'm gonna put the link in the description box so good so they get nice and stained with this and then just get the clear ysl over Boom. I don't know, I love it. I think it looks like so like natural and pretty. And it feels like your lips don't have like a lot of lipstick or gunk on them. It's like my new favorite thing. I did it the other day to go out too and I really liked it. This Morphe setting spray. We're ready. Okay, so we're on our way now to <laughs> Miami things here. <laughs> that was not for me, that was for somebody else because the light turned green and they didn't go in like that second. People are so rude. So I have my coffee here. It tastes like ass. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This tastes so bad, but I'm just gonna drink it because I already paid for it. Babe. This cold brew, this skinny girl drink. Oh, I learned my lesson. I'll just drink it today. I wonder how Austin feels about this because I got him the same drink as me. But he's a skinny queen. Like he loves all this healthy cold brew stuff. Like I could never. It definitely, oop, definitely gets you going for the day. Okay, I'll see you guys at the salon. So she's doing the highlights right now. I have this side done and now she's gonna do this side and this is Adriana. Adriana di hello. Hi. It's a me YouTube channel. Okay. She's been doing my hair since I was cuantos años tenía 16? Uh-huh. Since I was 16 years old and she's the only one that does my hair so I really trust her and I only come to her and she's here in Miami. If you guys want to come I'm gonna put the link to her profile in the description box. Me encanta, I love it. Ese pelo, bebé. Ay, qué bello. Oh. Siempre, eh, siempre cuando yo me lo hace me queda beautiful. <risa> Imagínate que mañana voy a coger su vestido de novia, mi amor. Mañana voy a coger mi vestido. Es el compromiso novia, sí. que yo tengo aquí. Oh, Ay, I'm so excited. Thank qué you. bello te ha quedado ese pelo. Pero siempre me queda bello, eso es nada nuevo. <risa> Ay, Dios mío. Ahora no corra, mi linda. linda. Vamos a tirar fotos ahora. Dale, ok. En esa esquina con esa luz, tremenda luz. Sí, tremenda luz. Dale. And here is how my hair came out. It came out so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love Adriana. Guys, 
Adrienne. I killed it. Look at my hair. Like always, I feel brand new. She's a new woman. I'm so happy. I feel so confident. So good. This is like my color. Like I wasn't born blonde, but if you see me with dark hair, you see me with blonde hair. And you know my personality. Like it just matches me more. That's what everybody says. You know, dark hair looks good on me, but no, no, no. I love my blonde. I feel the most confident. I feel bright, airy, beautiful. Like I just, I love this hair. So now. We're done. I'm gonna run home really quick. I'm gonna wash off my makeup. I'm gonna take a quick shower at my parents' house. And then I'm gonna run over to get my tan. Did I not pack my little thong? Oh, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> I take like a little special thong that's literally just like a little G-string and then I go topless so I can get a really pretty tan so it can be nice and even and all I have is like a little line from the bottom. But I don't like tan lines on the top because I just like to look good and nice and tan and glowy, especially since I'm gonna try on dresses. I don't wanna be with the whole bikini tan lines. So, Okay, let's go. Here, I'm Alexa Glow. This is where I get my spray shine. She turns that off and the air kind of suctions out all the extra like dust that comes out. This is it. I'm so excited. Guys, I look like a little rat <laughs> with my hair up. But look at how tan I am and glowy. So I'm just gonna leave it on for three hours and then I'm gonna wash it right off. And then it usually takes about 24 hours to be like completely settled, but the color is so pretty. She did a different tan she did like a special bridal glow so i'm like so excited to see how it turns out oh and then you're leaving my phone and you can turn it then of course, of course you guys know I'm extra. So I got my hair and makeup professionally done. Um, I had the idea to do this cause they hit me up and they're like, let's get some pretty bridal content. I'm like, let's do it. And it took me like about an hour and a half to do hair and makeup. So I decided to time lapse it just so you guys can see the process and how amazing and talented these two girls are. I tagged their Instagram and it'll be in the description as well. Everybody say hello. Hello. Here's some champagne. I'll be right back. Wow. Wow. You're so da -da -da -da. Thank you. Da -da -da. The veil, the veil just, wow. The veil adds, right? Yeah, gorgeous. There it is. Como Cinderella. Like Aussie. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't think he would like this one. Oh, see, no. Why? I know him. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love doing these weekly vlogs. I'm going to do them every week as I have stated. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next week.